Now we can use this recursive program to reverse a linked list. Okay, so it is a very small code as compared to the previous program. So let us see what is happening in this program. So in this program, when we are calling this function, initially we are passing the values which are null and head, right? So initially when we are calling, so instead of R E V E R S E, let me just write it here R E V E so to make it short. Okay, so we are passing this function is R E V. Okay, so initially we are passing R E V and the values which we are passing here is null comma head and head is storing 1000. Okay, so these are the lines here. This is the line number one, line number two, three, four and this is line number five. Right, so when we called R E V null comma 1000 in that case this null is stored in previous and this 1000 is stored in current okay so here we are saying in the first line if current and current is storing 1000 1000 not is not null therefore we are going to execute whatever the code present in the in this if statement so we'll come to this line number two and in the line number two we are doing a recursive call so unless we finish this recursive call we cannot execute the line number three so in the line number two, it is saying reverse REV here also I have to write REV. Okay, REV current comma current next. That means it is going to pass 1000 comma current next. That means whatever the data present in this link part. Okay, so 1000 comma 2000. Okay, so this is the data part and this is the link part. So we are doing current comma current of link. That means we are going to call this 2000. So when we call this 1000 comma 2000, in that case, this 1000 is stored in previous and this 2000 is stored in current. Okay. And when we call this 1000 comma 2000, in this case, if this line number one is true because this 2000 is not null. So we are going to execute the line number two and three. So in the line number two, we are again uh, encounter this recursive statement and it is going to call 2000 comma 3000. Okay. Because we are going to call uh, current of link here. Okay. And when we call this REV 2000 comma 3000, in that case, previous is storing 3000 and current is storing. So previous is storing 2000 and current is storing 3000. Okay, so in that case again, the line number one is true. So in the line number two, we are again going to call REV 3000 comma 4000. So when we call 3 comma 3000 comma 4000, in that case also the line number one is true. So we are going to execute the line number two. In the line number two, it is going to call REV 4000 comma null because this is the last node and it is storing null here. Okay. And when we call 4000 comma null, that means this null is stored in the current part and this 4000 is stored in the previous part. So in this case, the if statement will not be executed because uh, this if statement is false now because cur uh, current is showing null and this if statement is false. Therefore, we are going to store uh, execute the line number five. In the line number five, we are going to store head is equal to previous. That means in head, we are going to store the point, the data which is stored by previous year and previous is storing 4000. Therefore, we are going to store four, in head, we are going to store 4000. Okay. That means this head will now be pointing to the location 4000. Right. So it is not pointing to this location anymore. Right. And this statement is finished now. This statement is finished. So we'll, the control will go back to the previous statement. And in this previous statement, we are going to execute the line number three. In the line number three, we are doing current of link is equal to previous. That means whatever the data present in the current, the link part of this current node, that means the node which is pointed by current and the data which is printed the, at the link part is null. And we are going to store whatever the data present the head here. Okay. So what is the data present in the previous year? Because previous year in the previous recursive call, previous was storing 3000 and current was storing 4000. So we are going to store here 3000. Okay. And then this complete recursive call is finished. We'll 
go back to the previous recursive call in this previous recursive call previous is storing 2000 and current is storing 3000 so we are going to execute the line number 3 here and the line number 3 is saying current is uh, of link is equal to previous that means whatever the data present in the link part of this current we are going to store the whatever the data present in the previous year so previous is storing 2000 therefore this link part will now be storing 2000 so when it is storing 2000 and that next this next node is storing 3000 that means this node is pointing to this place and this node is pointing to this place and after this recursive call uh, if this recursive call is finished the control will go back to the previous statement and the previous statement again we are going to execute the line number 3 and in the previous statement the previous was storing 1000 and current was storing 2000 therefore it is when it is going to execute the line number 3 in that case we are going to do current of link that means this part will now be storing 1000 because previous was storing uh, 1000 here so this part will now be storing 1000 okay so when this call is finished the control will go back to the previous statement that means to the calling function right and right so that means it is now going to store this year and when this control will go back to the previous statement in that case we are again going to execute the line number 3 and the line number 3 it is again going to do current is equal to link uh, current of link is equal to previous that means this link part of the current node is now going to store whatever the data present in the previous part and previous is storing null therefore this is now going to store null okay and when all these calls are finished the control will go back to the main statement or the ca calling function from where we call this one okay that means uh, this node is point this all these uh, nodes are reversed so this front node is pointing to the, this node 3000 this c node is pointing to this node uh, 2000 and this b node is pointing to this node 1000 and this head is pointing to the last node therefore we have reversed the linked list so we can use this recursive program to reverse a given linked list correct